Hello everyone, Carlos here for keyboard shortcut number 24, which is about control spacebar. Okay, control spacebar, we have seen it uh, previously, okay, so it's not something new, but I think I wanted to include it because I think uh, it has some sort of a great importance, especially when formula building, okay, and working with formulas in Excel. So pretty much, let me just get to this point. Rem remember that control spacebar is to select the whole column. Okay, but if you're inside tables, you select the whole column of that table, and we can actually do control dot to actually go to the extremes of this range. Okay, so you can see that we selected the whole data. Okay, and actually, it didn't even select the last row because that last row has a total. Remember the previous tutorial about all chief zero? That's why. So that's kind of cool. But when formula building, you can actually select the whole column, okay, when working with tables, and then come back with it with control backspace. So let me just come back here. Remember, we, we did this formula. Again, remember, I call F1, so maybe I can do control all spacebar. Okay, didn't call F6, F6, and then control spacebar, and then close it. Okay, see how you saw I saw that? And control alt spacebar is to close that type of window with your keyboard. And now, for example, uh, remember we did this formula right here, okay? And for example, we actually build it by actually selecting the ranges with control space bars and then coming back with control backspace. I wanted to like sort of reinforce that. That is very useful because some people, what are they doing, they see is that they select this area with the mouse. And sometimes the ranges are long. They could be 100 rows or 1,000 rows. That's even long. And it takes time. It takes time of, of your, actually, your precious time to lose it there. So that's why control space bar is very good for formula building. I might, for example, delete this part right here and actually, oh, see again. Let me just close it with the mouse just to go faster and so for this video not to take long. So again, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna build this average shift again, but I want you to pay attention on this control space bar and the importance that you can save by not selecting ranges with your mouse. And this works nicely with Excel tables. So it's also a, a sort of a plugin for tables that use them because they're very powerful. For this kind of type of stuff, when you work with tables, you give a structure and you're selecting a column that is inside structure, okay? Before even moving ahead, I mean, I have to tell you what is it for, but then again, why is it useful? And let's see uh, 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 an example that we have seen previously. So if you want, you can skip this video if you want, but if you haven't seen this before, check it out, okay? Do an average if, okay, and then the average range is gonna be my unit price, and then control space bar, and then control backspace, okay, and then this is gonna, this is gonna not eat it, okay, and now I can actually just F2, okay, so I can become in edit mode, and actually I can go right here and do Alt Enter, so I can start writing my, my formula already with a nice format. I can go right here now, comma, do Alt Enter, and then move the space bar all the way to this point. And now I can do F2, and then I can go outside and say, okay, what's gonna be now the criteria range one? It's gonna be this column, control space bar, control backspace to get back to it, comma, and it's gonna be this cell right next to it. So F4 to fix it. Maybe we just wanna fix it. Maybe we're gonna move it to the right. You put the dollar sign in before the reference of column. If not, then you can just leave it like that, okay, comma. And then I'm actually gonna select now the, that uh, the criteria range two is gonna be, what's it called? It's gonna be the chip mode, which is gonna be located right here. And then control space bar, control backspace, okay? But then again, F2 to become an edit mode because before I was on po point mode, and then maybe I just wanna, maybe, oh, it's not letting me, maybe let's see what's happening. Okay, no, comma, and okay, maybe we'll fix it in a bit, comma, and then now that's gonna be, well, F2 to get out of the formula editing mode, and now I'm gonna select that, but that one I do have to fix with the dollar sign before the row of reference, so it doesn't, f it doesn't move up and down, and I close my parentheses, enter, and now I get the 53, okay? Maybe we can copy this formula, copy down, and it's the same number, okay? So I'm gonna control C, because something happened there that it didn't let me to sort of format this. And I, now I understand why, because I had to do Alt Enter and with Spacebar align it. So you can see that I selected ranges with just Control Spacebar, I mean Control Spacebar, when working with tables. So I think the tutorial should be named 
control space bar for a table to be more complete. And I think hopefully you can get the idea that um, you can save a lot of time with just selecting radians and not using uh, the dear mouse. Okay. And that's it. And I'll see you for video number 25. Thank you for watching.